at the uh, banner behind you, the USC Price School, named after Saul Price. Saul was a great friend. He was a um, tremendous businessman, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He was upset with the Democrats and something they'd done in Congress. He was a lifelong Democrat, and he said, well, Kathleen, is it time for us Democrats to take over the Republican Party and infiltrate the, the extremes of our, our, our politics have really become the norm? And that's not America. And I think the media plays a role in this. I think the media loves the fight. And now we've got social media, which magnifies everything. Talking is the cheapest thing that we do with the most valuable possible outcome. And when you think about it, there is so little talk. That's what we saw, that's what we experienced, and that's what we fought for. We fought for those kinds of alliances on the other side of the aisle where you could have just a great conversation and come out of it, you know, with something that was in the middle, but moved us ahead. It really requires reflection, you know, calm and constructive civic engagement and, and people, you know, speaking up. And I actually think that infrastructure and a crisis are good vehicles to help bring people together. Infrastructure is critical to a, a, a civil society and it's critical to the quality of life that families in California enjoy, whether it's the schools or the roads or the water systems. I think local governments are going to have to think about their infrastructure in different ways. We do more issues in this state literally by 30 percent more than our competitors. Clearly our sweet spot are education bonds, our sweet spot are community facilities debt, uh, our sweet spot increasingly are pension obligation bonds. The bond market is extremely robust. Interest rates are in historic low. In fact, in August, they were comparable to what they were in World War II. As a consequence, baby boomers are looking for less risk averse places to put their money. Uh, the bond market is the number one uh, target, particularly when you get into uh, tax-exempt uh, uh, issues. The Fed decided, uh, I think around April, to go into the secondary market and buy munis. That has been uh, very, very strong in terms of keeping the demand high. And the outlook is good because the need increases with each and every day. As much as from a health and a post-COVID perspective, our testing is going to drive some of what we do in local governments as well as the finance world. Testing is, to my mind, an essential service to, to operate our business. Best if it's done at the state, but frankly, a county like LA a County could do it. Taking the, the, the bull by the horns and giving the confidence and the certainty to the labs and to the manufacturers who produce the swabs and the vials and then the labs that do the testing uh, and the people around that, that whole cycle of activities needs to be defined and identified and then you could finance that through an availability payment kind of model and pay it back through the federal funds that would come like the cares act money um, and also on, on the economic growth because the, the 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 shutdown of the economy has such a negative effect on on our gdp that if you can open up the economy um the government paying for the the testing and getting it safe so people can come back for more than pay for it. COVID opened up a brand new uh, world out there on which platform we are right now. But they're all facilitated by a robust uh, broadband uh, technology and, and a broadband, so to speak, availability. You want people to come together, you have to have a level of um, participation. So the investments are very important. 
We've seen with COVID where we don't have connectivity for kids in schools and poorer neighborhoods. Uh, we need it to run our businesses. What we need, um, frankly, are some long-term funding sources. We need a lot of innovation and we need some relief on the permitting side to get things through. It's exciting having been an elected official uh, to now be uh, in this position of continuing to work with local government in being able to connect their dreams with a the reality.